Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. How are you doing today, says of rest? I hope you're doing good. May the Lord bless you and be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, how is your family and everyone around you? I hope everyone is good. May the Lord continue to keep each and every one of us for his name's sake. May the Lord continue to protect you and guide you for his name's sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for being here again today. May the Lord bless you and reward you in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we go into the word of God, let's pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you for this opportunity again. We return all praise, all glory and honor unto you. We pray that even as we hear your word, you will speak to our understanding and give us the grace to have that confidence of which you expect from us. Us, even in you and you alone in jesus name we pray amen god bless you says god bless you man. god bless you 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 i pray in the name of jesus christ may the lord visit you and may his, may his will may his perfect will be done in your life and your situation in the name of jesus christ I pray concerning your environment, your community, your society, your country, your nation, wherever you might be located. I pray may every problem, every problem, may every problem that might want to affect the people, that might want to affect you. I pray may those problems be resolved in the name of Jesus. May the Lord keep you safe, always, for his name's sake alone, because you belong to him. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you, sis, and God bless you, mess. Today, we're going to be talking about the message titled, God Got Your Back. God Got Your Back. This is a follow-up on a series of messages, uh, Resist Fear. Resist Fear. So, this is a follow-up. God Got Your Back. Wonderful, wonderful. So, God is expecting us to have this confidence in Him. He wants us to... to to allow him to be our defense. So God is expecting you to just hand over everything to him, hand over the situation to him, committing the circumstances in his care, and he got your back. God got your back. God bless you. God bless you. And quick, quick reverence to our... By the grace of God, uh, the extension of God's grace in the ministry right now, uh, the prayer section, and for Christ's gospel messages, prayer section, which is every first Wednesday of the month, every first Wednesday of the month, and likewise, every third Wednesday of the month, we also have um, for Christ's gospel messages, is perfect will movement, is perfect will movement, so those are the grace of God. Likewise, in addition, um, for Christ Gospel Messages, worship section, worship section. So that is that is going to be uh, about quarterly. So, so it's going to be coming every uh, Mondays, on Mondays, quarterly, quarterly. But subscribe to our channel whenever this uh, messages, this uh, sections or uh, videos are uploaded, they are made available. You're going to be notified. So please, I encourage you not to miss out on anything. Not to miss out on anything. So please and please, please subscribe so you can always get these blessings. Uh, get the notif notifications of these blessings every time. May God bless you as you do so. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, by the grace of God, this coming Wednesday is going to be our prayer section. And for Christ's gospel messages, prayer section. This is a, a period whereby we have enough time to pray. Enough time to pray. Enough time to pray. So, I encourage you, please come. And actually, this message is going to be a preparation for that. So, get ready and God bless you. God bless you. So happy listening. Thank you for your time and likewise your attention. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus name, God got your back. God got your back. God wants you to, to allow him to be your defense. What a great, great thing that God is telling you. Relax. You don't need to trouble yourself. You don't need to worry. Just, just allow me. Let me defend you. You just relax. Amen. I pray may, may, may that be our portion always in the name of Jesus Christ that God got our back. In Jesus' name. Uh, a Bible reverence is Isaiah chapter 54. Isaiah 54, 
verse 15. Isaiah 54, verse 15. Verse 15, it says, Indeed, they should surely assemble, but not because of me. Whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. Whosoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. It's like God is telling you, my child, relax. You just leave them, leave them. You're going to fail. Regardless of whatever they might be doing, failure is their result. They will surely fail. God got your back. Verse 16 says, uh, verse 16, I pray, I pray, I pray, may we have that confidence in God. May, we, uh, may, may God be our defense always in the name of Jesus Christ. That wherever the enemy is and whatever plans they might be doing, the destructions of God will fall upon them and the activities that they are planning against us in the name of Jesus Christ. God got your back. God got my back in Jesus' name. Amen. 16. Behold, I have created a blacksmith who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work, and I have created a spoiler to destroy. God is saying again, like, don't don't worry. I can I I can steer up something else to destroy them. I can cause a situation to occur for their destruction. You just have confidence in me. God got your back. Let God be your defense. Let God be your defense. Uh, can, can we just even pray right now? Lord, be my defense. Uh, if you're willing to let God be your defense, tell them right now. Prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, I ask, oh Lord, be our defense. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be my defense, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ for me. Even the, the bone of my bone that you have chosen for me. Even my, our, our children, my children and generations generations to come. I pray that you will be our defense in Jesus mighty name. Amen. God bless you. I hope you also pray for your family. In God bless you. God bless you. Please don't forget your family whenever you're praying. God bless you. Even if they're not currently with you, pray for them because by the time they come, the prayer is already made available. So it's just gonna, they're just gonna tap in by the grace of God. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Verse 17, verse 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. God has given us the power, the authority. They go ahead like my child. Go up, just condemn them. Every accusation that my raise against you, condemn it. Conde don't allow anyone to stand. Condemn them because you are my child. Yes, I'm giving you to go ahead. God is giving us that power. And I pray, I pray, I pray, may every weapons, may every actions, may every activities of the enemies against us be destroyed. And every accusation, I condemn them all by the name of Jesus Christ. Every accusation of, of the enemies against you and yours, I pray may they be condemned by the word of God. I pray every accusation of, of the enemies against me and mine, I pray uh, may they be condemned in the name of Jesus Christ. God got your back. God bless you. God bless you. He says, he says continuously, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and your righteousness. Their righteousness is for me, says the Lord. This is the heritage. Heritage. There is an inheritance available for God to have your back, for God to, to, to have your back. You need to be his child. This is the heritage. It's an inheritance. You don't need to you don't need to labor hard for it. It's an inheritance. You just need to connect to it by being a child of God. And having the righteousness of God. And their righteousness is for me. They have no righteousness of their own. But their righteousness, that righteousness that is on them, that is in them, that is on them, that is over them, is for me, says the Lord. Amen. I pray, may we have the righteousness. I pray, I pray, I pray, may you be a child of God. And I pray, may we all have the righteousness of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I encourage you to be a child of God, says the mess. 
In case if you are not yet a child of God, please be a child of God. Forsake your sinful ways and be a child of God. Forsake your evil ways and be a child of God. Oh, it's so good to be a child of God. Forsake your evil ways. It can't profit you. Forsake your evil ways. Just focus on your life. Everyone have a mission on earth. God has created everyone for a purpose. Leave others. Leave them. Let them prosper and fulfill their mission as well. Repent. 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 And if you if you if you are already a child of God, I pray may, may every activities of the enemies against you begin to fail right now. May they never prosper and may they be condemned now and forevermore by the word of God in the name of Jesus. In case if you're not yet a child of God, tell the Lord, oh Lord, I want to be your child. Help me to be your child. Help me to be your child. Please help me to be your child, oh Lord. Oh Lord, my creator, tell him like that. Oh God, my creator, please make me your child. I want to be your child. I want to belong to you. Please make me your child. And I pray as you ask, as you desire it, may the Lord accept you. Ah, may the Lord, may the Lord, may the Lord, may the Lord accept you. May the Lord accept you. May the Lord accept you. May the Lord accommodate you. May the Lord transform you to be his child. May the Lord save your soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Now we're going to be praying. We're going to be praying. Your righteousness is for me, says the Lord. We're going to ask for God's righteousness. That's all we need. As long as we have his righteousness, he got our back. As long as we have his righteousness, he is our defense. As long as we are his child, and we are his children, and we have his righteousness, God got our back. Resist fear. There is no need to be afraid. There is no need to be afraid. And by the grace of God, on one of our messages, and that was actually last uh, this February, February, right? On the on on our prayers, as February, we actually uh, the message destroy fear, destroy fear. We we had this this frame reverence there. We said uh, confront fear, resist fear, defeat fear, and destroy fear in Jesus' name. So there's no need to be afraid anymore when you are a child of God and you have the righteousness of the Most High God. Because now God is your defense. God got your back. We're going to ask, oh Lord, give me your righteousness. Fill my life with your righteousness. Fill my soul with your righteousness. Fill my family with your righteousness. Fill my home with your righteousness. Fill my life with your righteousness. Fill my destiny, my glory. Tell the Lord whatever you want God to overcome, to, 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 to shadow, to overshadow, to preserve, to keep. To tell him to cover you all with his righteousness. Pray for your wives. Pray for your husband. And pray for your children, pray for your parents, pray, 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 begin to pray right now in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask for your righteousness, oh Lord, fill me with your righteousness, fill my soul, my spirit with your righteousness, fill me with your righteousness, fill, fill, fill the bone of my bone with your righteousness, fill my children with your righteousness, and even our generations with your righteousness, fill my ministry, my own, my business, my work, my profession, my education, my academics, fuel my all with your righteousness, fuel my endeavors with your righteousness, fuel my career with your righteousness, fuel everything, everything concerning me with your righteousness, fuel us with your righteousness, fuel our destiny, our glory with your righteousness, fuel our purpose with your righteousness, and keep us, holy God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. May the Lord, may the Lord fill us all with his righteousness and may the Lord continue to keep us. May the Lord continue to be our defense. May the Lord prevail against our enemies and may every accusation of the enemies against us be condemned forever in the name of Jesus Christ by the word of God. I also declare no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment, we condemn them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, God bless you, sis. God bless you, miss. See you at the prayer section on Wednesday. God bless you. Look forward to it. First Wednesday of the month.
I'm for Christ Gospel Messages Prayer Section. God bless you. God bless you and be with you. Thank you for your time and likewise your attention. See you on the first of uh, next month on the first uh, on the first Wednesday of the month for our prayer section. And may the Lord bless you and be with you in Jesus' name. God got your back. God bless you.